Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the End of Kerbal Space Program, a series in which I endeavor to find the end game in KSP. As per usual, we are in CCAN adding a mod. This week's mod is going to be Smokescreen. We have close to 3 million funds, so we need to do something about that. Let's first upgrade the administration building. Uh, can we go? That's fully upgraded. Okay. Uh, astronaut complex, I don't think needs it. Nor does the research and development complex department. Let's, uh, let's upgrade that runway. Can we go fully? Yeah, let's go fully upgraded. And let's go into the administration building. So let's clear that. Yes. And then add takes 5% funds and yields one science. Reputation must be, oh, it takes reputation to set up? No. Reputation must be 750 or higher to activate this at this level. Let's put that at about 12. And then there's set, set up cost of 281. All right, that's good. Hopefully that'll boost our science and take a little bit of the excess unneeded funds. All right, let's see what contracts we have. Plan a flag on Minmus. Expires in two days, duration 14 years. I'm gonna go ahead and accept this one this episode, but we're not gonna do it um, because it expires in two days. Conduct observation, observational survey of Kerbin. Um, so yeah, we'll take that. That seems a little bit high, above 19 kilometers, but yeah, what the hell. Science data from space around the mud. It doesn't have to be a new craft, so yeah. Radial decoupler into flight above Kerbin. In between 54 kilometers and 59 kilometers, that's a little bit high. 130 to 210. I think we could probably manage that. Okay, well, we'll grab Siki out. And have her do an EVA report, which we'll keep. Review stored and transmit. All right, that's that contract complete. Transmit science. All right, we have 506 science to spend. What do we want to spend it on? We're building a plane, so how about an afterburner turbofan and some wings and air brakes? So I'm going to get the advanced reaction wheel. Max parts 30. Let's upgrade that once. I don't think I'm going to build something with more than 255 parts. And if I do, I'll probably weld it anyways. Okay, this is a bit of a step up from the last design. For one, we have uh, two curls in here. Air brakes. Uh, our wings are low. I did that so I could put the um, landing gear on it. Uh, we have a switch mode afterburner jet on here, the Panther. Uh, so that has kind of low thrust for uh, low altitude flight and then high thrust for ascending and for high speed flight at a kind of more like a medium atmosphere. It doesn't really get up to high. Uh, it goes about 12 kilometers up. And because our contract requires that we're up at 18, 19 kilometers, uh, we have some liquid fuel engines, the Mark 55 Thud. It's a very strange name for an engine. Standard air intakes, uh, a little bit of extra fuel hidden in here. Uh, this also has liquid fuel and oxidizer, uh, those two tanks, and this is just liquid fuel. We have RCS, uh, mostly to hold attitude. Oh, I gotta put that port back on there. Uh, and our monopellant tanks are back here in the back. I have the control surfaces on the back disabled, except for pitch. Um, and the ones up front are handle, pitch, and roll. The winglet is yaw only. After a bit of testing, I have determined that this doesn't actually have enough fuel to make it to the North Pole. So I made this giant tank uh, with a mainsail on the bottom to launch it on a almost orbital trajectory. I think we could probably make orbit if we really tried um, and used all the fuel, but 
basically a suborbital trajectory to get up there. So, um, it's pretty pretty simple. Main cell on the bottom and some engines on this side to keep thrust kind of even. I have uh, the reason why I have this up is because I have to uh, increase the thrust limiter or continually decrease the thrust of the main cell engine as we drain fuel from it. Uh, it is recoverable. We have parachutes on the top. Thanks, clouds. With the darkness. There you can see the parachutes on the top. Um, I'm hoping that that's going to land fairly softly, but it's going to be pretty far away from KSC, so we won't be recovering, recovering too much of it. Uh, but anyways, we are ready for launch, so let's do that now. All right, we just have two areas left. I'm hoping we can get that in one more launch, but uh, uh, we need to check on our moon science mining mission. Get these guys to a different biome and start mining some more science. So let's retract this ladder and get ready for liftoff here. All right, so we originally landed in the Midlands here, and then we got to the canyons there, and then we did the small hop to um, Midland Craters, I think is the name of the biome. And then we have this biome, 
Artland craters or something like that. And then there's uh, highlands around here. And I think there's another biome right in here, possibly up in this area. Can't remember what the name was though. Uh, but anyways, in the meantime, we're going to check on our science outpost and transmit the science that we have. Uh, transmit science. All right, uh, back to our mission on Kerbin. We got a little bit of science from that and uh, recovered 13,000 funds. So we're still just under a million. I think we just about broke even on that actually. Um, all right, so with that finished, I'd like to say thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.